Hello guys, today's video will be about the hero equipment, what to upgrade, when to use, and tips to save you money. We will talk about the total costs to max out each equipment, their stats, which and when to use them, and which levels are advised to upgrade to. Let's get into it. To keep this video from becoming too long, we will only go more into depth for the better hero equipment. Starting off with the Barbarian Puppet. This is a decent equipment, but I wouldn't recommend upgrading it, as there are better ones for the Barbarian King. The total upgrade cost to max out is 27,260 shiny ore and 1,920 glowy ore. Most of you will have it at level 15 already, so the real cost to max out are 7,800 shiny ore and 600 glowy ore. I do not recommend upgrading this beyond level 15 as there are more important ones to upgrade. The Rage Vial, in my opinion, it's one of the best hero equipment for the king at this moment. It can be combined well with the Giant Gauntlet, the Barbarian Puppet, and the Vamp Stash. It can be used in almost every attack strategy. The total costs to max out from level 1 are the same as the Barbarian Puppet. Most of you will have this at level 15, so to max them out it will cost 7,800 shiny ore and 600 glowy ore. You can max this out, but I would recommend upgrading other things first. The Earthquake Boots are in my opinion the worst equipment for the king. With the meta being Root Riders, walls are already being opened. The total costs to max out is 27,260 shiny ore and 1,920 glowy ore. I do not recommend upgrading this at all right now. The Vamp Stash definitely has some play in certain strategies, but in most cases, the Rage Vial combined with the Giant Gauntlet is better in my opinion. It can however be used in certain attacks where you use your king a little bit later in the attack on the outskirts of the base. The few hits it will take will have it regenerate health, keeping it alive longer. Think of any dragon type spam where you drop the army first. The total cost to max this out is 27,260 shiny ore and 1,920 glowy ore. If you choose to use this, I advise you to upgrade it to level 15. Anything above is too expensive for what it gets you at the moment. To make it level 15, it costs 19,460 shiny ore and 1,320 glowy ore. Last but definitely not least for the Barbarian King, we have the Giant Gauntlet. For now, it is the only epic equipment for the king. The giant gauntlet can be combined very nicely with the rage vial, to best take advantage of the ability. It can be used in every strategy to take out entire compartments. It's amazing at taking out heavy cores with rage towers while tanking for your army. The minimum I would upgrade to is level 15. This will cost 19,460 shiny ore, 1,320 glowy ore, and 60 starry ore. To completely max it, it costs a whopping 56,060 shiny ore, 3,729 glowy ore, and 480 starry ore. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. The Archer Puppet is a decent equipment which is best to use for most strategies. The total upgrade costs are the same as the other common equipments. The Archer Puppet is great in Queen Charge attacks and Sui attacks. Most of you have it at level 15 already, so the total cost to max the Archer Puppet is 7800 shiny ore and 600 glowy ore. I don't recommend upgrading it after level 15, as there are more important ones to level up. The Invisibility Vial is the best equipment the Archer Queen has to offer. The extra damage she deals without taking any damage is just too good not to use. Depending on the attack strategy, you can combine it with the other ones. Most of you have it at level 15, so maxing it out for 7800 shiny ore and 600 glowy ore is definitely worth the extra 0.6 seconds of extra invisibility and the extra damage and hit point increase. The giant arrow can definitely be useful, but if you have to be sure to hit the arrow on the chosen target, you can take down heavy buildings in combination with lightning and earthquake spell. Once it's level 9, you can take out sweepers with the arrow. To max it out, it will cost 27,260 shiny ore and 1,920 glowy ore. I don't think it's worth maxing it out. What do you think? Let us know in the comments.
The Healer Puppet is a really nice equipment to use in attacks like Super Archer Blimps and any type of Dragon Spams where you drop the Queen later. It costs 27,260 Shiny Ore and 1,920 Glowy Ore to max it out. If you like the previously named attacks, I highly recommend upgrading it. The Frozen Arrow The last and newest addition to use will be super strong in every attack strategy. It's best combined with the Invisibility Vial. In Queen Charges, you have to be cautious not to lose your Queen through ability, as you're lacking health regeneration. At the back end of air spams, the Frozen Arrow combined with the Healer Puppet will be amazing, as the Frozen Effect combined with the Healers will be an almost invincible combination. To max out, you will need to pull out your wallet, because no just like the Giant Gauntlet, <laughs> it will cost you 56,060 Shiny Ore, 3,729 Glowy Ore, and 480 Starry Ore. If you have the resources, I would max it out. That was it for the Archer Queen. Which combinations do you like to use the most? The Warden has four types of equipment, and all of them are very good. The Eternal Tome, however, is the best one and should be used in every strategy. I would advise to max it out. The total costs to max it out from level 15 will be 7800 Shiny Ore and 600 Glowy Ore. The Life Gem is great, but in my opinion, in most strategies, the Healing Tome will be stronger. I recommend using the Life Gem for Lava Loon and perhaps with Super Archer Blimp Attacks. The total cost to max out from level 15 is 7800 Shiny Ore and 600 Glowy Ore. I don't recommend maxing it unless you already maxed out the Healing Tome. The Healing Tome is great to use with Queen Charge and Spam Root Rider attacks, and it's great with any of the Dragon Spam attacks. If you have the resources, I definitely recommend maxing it out, which will cost you 27,620 Shiny Ore and 1,920 Glowy Ore. The Rage Gem is a great equipment, but in many strategies you lack the healing power of the Healing Tome and Life Gem. It works great with smash attacks like Super Witches and Titans. It will also be good in some situations at the back end of a Super Archer Blimp attack. To max it out, it will cost you 27,620 Shiny Ore and 1,920 Glowy Ore. If you have the resources, definitely upgrade this to at least level 15. If you've made it this far, please help the channel grow and like the video and subscribe. For the Royal Champion, there are only two options, so we will not get into depth. The Royal Gem I would max out if you have the resources, as it can give you the small edge in an attack keeping your Royal Champion alive. It costs 7800 Shiny Ore and 600 Glowy Ore to max it out from level 15. The Seeking Shield is a great equipment, besides being the coolest in the game. With the shield, you can take out key defenses and even save yourself from time fails. I would recommend maxing it out, as it is definitely worth the 250 extra damage and 40 extra hit points. To max out from level 15, it will be 7800 Shiny Ore and 600 Glowy Ore. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.